Oh, oh, look at that. Nicely done. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome to Tesla's Wild, my name is Colin. I hope y'all are having a good day. If you're new to the channel, I'm so glad you found us. I hope you enjoy what you see here and I hope you stick around for future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It truly means the world to me and I am so incredibly grateful. I do have a 2,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. I'm gonna card this across the top of the video. Also, always remember there is a comment down below that has timestamps so you can hop through the video and view the portions most relevant or exciting to you. Today, I just wanted to go for a nice mountain drive, enjoy the curvy, wonderful mountain roads of Colorado, and I figured, why not, while we're doing this, put Tesla Autopilot to the test and see how well 2019.16.2 does. I'm gonna do point of view filming so you can see what it's like inside of the cabin as well as a camera on the outside of the vehicle. We're on 2019.16.2. We're going to take the Model 3 performance and do some autopilot on a pretty curvy fun mountain road and see how well it does. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you guys shortly. There we go. All right, we have autopilot started. Just honking the horn to sync up the video later. And we're going up into Deer Creek Canyon with 2019.16.2 just to see how well the uh, autopilot does. As you can see, this beginning part of the road is not very clearly marked whatsoever. Uh, autopilot is doing pretty well so far, so we'll see. Very poorly marked roads and it's doing really well. slowing itself down. I have it set at 40 and it's going 36. Whoop. That was a little bit excessive, Tesla. I promise the curvy parts are coming up soon here. I'm going to set it back to 35, which is the speed limit, and we're going to begin the curvy parts of the road now. I do have my hands out, ready to take over at any time. It is slowing itself down very well. We're at 30 right now. Woo! Tight turn. Not bad at all. Woo, that's scary. <laughs> biker. Okay. Had to cancel because of the biker there. And re-engaged. Just felt like it would get a little bit too close to that biker and I wasn't sure, so better to be safe than sorry. As you can see, hands are not on the wheel, but I am ready to take over at any time. Poorly marked and a sharp turn. Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, this technology is just amazing. I hope to work at Tesla one day, be a software engineer on their autopilot team. That would be amazing. Oop. All right, that was questionable. Shady sharp turn up here. 
beautiful. All right. How do you explain it? Like when you first learn how to drive and you kind of over or under turn, it's doing that quite a bit. All right, rocks and a sharp turn. I have my hands on the wheel for this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, all right. Oh my goodness. What a win. Okay. Nope, not making that. <laughs> All right, that was going to be too much. Got a biker here. Okay, back in it now. Speed limit is now 30, so I have it set at 35. It definitely would have failed on that turn back there. There was no way. Turn it way down, this is a switch back. Oh, oh, look at that. Nicely done. Although if I hadn't slowed it down, I don't know if it would have made that. All right, and I think this is where we're gonna call it good. And I'll close out this video shortly. All right, so there we have it. There's just about five to 10 minutes of cruising on a pretty fun mountain road in autopilot on 2019.16.2. As we saw, it did pretty damn well. This software is getting better and better with every update. It is interesting nonetheless to see that you can use it as long as you're paying extreme attention and you are absolutely ready to take over at any second as it informs you to do. I want everybody to take a second to make sure that they are using autopilot responsibly. I see all these videos and as one of my good friends on YouTube, Monster Gadgets, I'll link his channel here, as well as in the description mentioned in a previous video. A lot of these videos that irresponsibly use autopilot and are like doing their makeup in the mirror while autopilot is on, or reading a book, or falling asleep, or pretending to be a fall asleep, it's more negative press for Tesla, and that's really not what they need at this time. So I always try in my autopilot videos to make sure that I am uh, fully aware and I'm ready to take over any time. I have my hands floating over the wheel at all times and uh, I just try to do the best that I can with those sort of situations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you smash that like and subscribe button down below. As always, I have a lot more content coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned and we will see you next video.